we get to the fun part and that is designing and really making your worksheet unique. Now you wanna make it look pretty. We're gonna go ahead and just play around with different fonts, different sizings and, and colors. I'm also going to be showing you how to insert your own image, a PNG with the, the transparent background. So that way you can add a little bit more to your worksheet. So let's go ahead and dive on in to this tutorial. You have access to different fonts that is defaulted in this Google Sheet. So you can search right here the different fonts or you can look for more fonts and say that you want to get scripts or um, right now it's on popularity. So you can scroll down and see the different fonts that are available to you and pick and choose and see what you like best. So I've already selected a few fonts that I do like. I am one that likes that hand lettering type of font. So I have this one, it's called Gochi Hand Indie Flower in Kalam. Those are ones that I thought was very eye-catching and I did like that. Ooh, I also like this dancing script. So you can just look through and see which font and style is best for you and the look that you're going for when it comes to your worksheet. So I am just going to pick different fonts and I'm going to size this to a very large size. So if you see that you want it larger than 36, you can actually go up in here and just type in a specific number and it will size it uh, to that. And you can change the color here under the text coloring. Now, one thing I wanna point out is right here where it says the custom. Let's say you already know the hex code of a specific color that you wanna put in here. Now a hex code is this right here. So if you move this dial around up at the top, it changes the hex code, which is the identification of that color. So you can search different hex codes online. If you have your own palette, you can go ahead and enter in that hex code right here. I don't have a specific hex code, so I'm just going to find just the defaulted uh, colors here just for the video purpose. I want more of like maybe blue. I like blue and pink, so we're just going to, for right now, change it to that. And the same thing goes for these headings. So I wanna change the font for each of these. And what I do on my keyboard to have selected all of those, I highlight with my mouse drag, and I hit my command key on my keyboard, and I choose the cells that I want to select. So if you are using a Windows computer, I wanna say it's the control key on your keyboard and you just click the cells that you want to select. But I'm on an Apple computer, so I just hit the command key. And I wanna change the font and we're gonna do Indie Flower. I'm not sure if I like how that looks. So you just switch it until you like the font. Maybe I'll just stick to the same as the heading. So now we have all of those headers selected, but I want to add um, a color to those boxes. So a way that you do that is right over here, it says fill color, and you're gonna select that, and you can choose the same as you did the font color, whatever color you want for your header. I'm just gonna select this one. I think that that is a little bit too bright, so I'm just gonna undo and choose a different color. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna keep the, the font size the same and a way how you can adjust this font. So you see how the monthly budget, it's laying at the bottom of the cell. So a way that you can change that so that way it reflects in the middle of the cell. So you're gonna click Format, Align, and you see how it is centered here, but it's aligned at the bottom of the cell. I want it to be in the middle. That way it gives a little bit of space right here. And again, you can adjust how tall you want the cell to be, but you always wanna make sure that you are still not going past page one. So how I did that, I just clicked file print and it gave me a preview of the page. So I have to add in the filling on some of these cells. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so it doesn't look so weird. 
I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Let's do 50 and see how that looks. The next thing that I wanna show you guys to personalize your worksheet is how is it that you can add in images? So what you wanna do, you're gonna hit insert and it gives you the option to insert an image and it tells you, do you want to insert this image in the specific cell? Meaning, do I want the image to be right here where this highlighted box is? Or do you want the image to go over the cells? Meaning it will be right on top of this worksheet. So I prefer to have it image over cell. And here you can browse Google images or you can upload your own from your computer. So if you have any images that is saved on your phone, you can import it onto Google and or any images saved on your desktop, you can import it on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I do have a few images that I want to import. So I'm gonna select, let's do that one. Okay, so you see how it puts this image right on top of the document and I can just move it around wherever I want. So I do want to size this down quite a bit. That way I can place it as part of the heading. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I can duplicate this, I can just make a copy. So you can do two images like that. That way it's a part of the heading. I hope that you get the idea. And now I want to talk to you about the page sizing. So go ahead and click file and print. And I wanna point out a few things to you. So this is how the worksheet is gonna look like. It's very simple. Um, you can customize it. You can, let's say, put a highlight, a uh, shadowing on uh, every other row to kind of make it stand out. Uh, but what I wanna point out to you right here is the paper sizing. I got a question about how is it that I have this size? So if you go right over here, it says paper size. These are all defaulted. So it gives you different options of how you want to have this paper printed or what, what's the size of the page. It automatically defaults to the letter size. This is a US letter eight and a half by 11. And for those of you who are in uh, the UK and you have a different size paper, you can click this custom size and you can enter in what height and what's the width of your paper. If you have an A5 binder, you can go ahead and click this and it's going to resize your document so that way it could fit in an A5 binder. It's not gonna have the cut lines, but you can just cut around using a regular A5 paper size and you can use that to cut. Uh, you can use a paper cutter to make nice clean lines, but just know that you can resize this document into whatever size paper size that you are wanting. So right now we're just gonna stick to the standard lettering and um, make sure that your margins, they're normal. I don't have any custom things set up here. It's just the normal. However, the scale I have fit to width. I wanna make sure that from the left and the right side, all of these columns are going to fit in this printable. So that's how I have my settings laid out. So let's get into what if I wanted to do like an every other highlight. I like using like a light gray. I think it is, it's not overpowering, but it does add a little extra something to the worksheet. So you can, you can do that, you can add in that fill and then do like every other. So again, I'm gonna do that trick where you hit the command or if you have a Windows computer, hit the control button and highlight and drag the cells that you're wanting to fill. Okay, so see it adds a little extra something. Another thing that you can do is you can make these borders a little bit thicker for the edges. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna use your mouse, you're gonna click and you're gonna drag down to the cells that you're wanting to work with. We're going to click this box where you filled all of your borders. And right here it says, what is the border color? 
and it also tells us what border style. So if we click border style, we can select any of these. So there's a double line, you can make the thickness of it thicker and you can specify that. So if you want each of those lines to be thick, then you will choose this and select so here it's all borders. So if I don't want that, then you could just do the outline. Let me undo that. because, And I want it to just be the outer borders. So you see it made the outer border a little bit thicker than the inside. So for you to really see that and notice it, you could see it right here, how this is much thicker than the other ones. You could even select the thicker border. So this one to make it more like of an emphasis you could do that. But I'm just gonna leave it how it was. And now, if we go file and print, we see that we added some images, we changed the font, the color, we filled the headers of each of the categories and the sections of the template. We added some fill here, very light, very subtle, but it does add a little extra. Something else that I do like adding to my worksheets just to give it a, something that's unique. When it comes to the middle section, so let me just drag and highlight only this middle part of the section. I'm not gonna highlight the header and I'm not gonna highlight this bottom area. With the borders, you can choose to not include the left border or the right border. And a way that you can deselect that, we're gonna do no border on the left and on the right. So specify no border, and you can do that for each of these sections. No borders, and choose left and right. And I'm gonna show you this real quick, file print. If I zoom in, the left border and the right border here is no longer going to be filled. So you see how these ones, they're filled, you can change out your worksheet so that way it doesn't show that and it would just be boxed in for your totals to really give it that emphasis that a lot of people like when it comes to their worksheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to how it was. And that is how you can really personalize your worksheet, how you can verify your paper size and adjust it to be a custom size so if you want to have this fit into a classic happy planner a5 those are very popular if you want to size it up so it's not that standard letter size i know that in the uk they do have a larger um, printer paper so you can adjust your sizing this way so let me print this out and i'm going to show you how it looks hard copy that way you can really know how it will fit into your planner so this is how the printable came out. One thing I do want to mention is this little light border that you see right up at the top. I didn't realize that it was actually going to print out. So a way that you can have it so that this top line does not show up, just highlight the cell and you are going to choose no border fill. So you're going to click that border option at the top and just make sure that you select no border fill for this top cell and also any other cells here that you see that has the spacings. Just make sure that you don't have it filling. But I am really impressed with how this Google Sheet printable came out. It's my first time designing a worksheet on Google Sheets, but as you can see, utilizing free options to design your own monthly budgets is so doable. So you just have to be creative, trial and error. Honestly, the more that you do something, the better it is going to come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you have any questions or other suggestions for future content. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.